everyone, I'm Yasahara T. De La Peña, and today I am going to discuss about adding integers. So let's start and learn together. The operations of adding integers came from the concept of number line, wherein we will count to the right and to the left. But now we will focus on the rules on how we are going to solve the integers. There are two basic rules in adding integers. Just a reminder that the rules for every operation are different. So the rules for division and multiplication are for them. And the rules for addition are for addition only. For adding integers, the two basic rules are Case number one, integers with the same sign. Look at the given numbers or integers and see if they have the same sign. Two integers are said to be of the same sign if they are both positive or both negative. If they have the same sign, then we are going to add the numbers and then copy the sign of the bigger number. So, later, we will have an example to better understand. Case number two. Adding integers with different sign. Two integers are said to have different or opposite sign if one of them is negative and the other is positive. If that's the case, this is what we will do. Subtract the bigger and smaller number regardless of the sign. And after we get the answer, we will copy the sign of the bigger number. To further understand, Let's start discussing case number one. Case number one, adding integers with the same sign. Add the numbers and then copy the sign. Example number one, two plus nine. Since two and nine are both positive, we will just add two and nine. And the answer is 11. Since they are both positive, we will just copy the sign but don't have to write positive here because it is automatically understood as positive 11. Example number 2. Negative 2 plus negative 9. Do they have the same sign? Yes, because 2 and 9 are both negative. So we will just add 2 and 9 and the answer is 11. Since they have the same sign, which is negative, we will copy the sign and write negative. Let's have another one. Negative 15 plus negative 5. Both of them are negative, so they have the same sign. Just add the numbers 15 and 5, and the answer is 20. Then copy the sign, which is negative. Now let's talk about case number 2. Adding integers with different sign. So this is what we are going to do. Subtract the smaller number to the bigger number regardless of the sign. Afterwards, we will copy the sign of the bigger number or the highest absolute number. Example number 1. Negative 15 plus 5. They fall on different sign because 15 is negative and 5 is positive. So it says subtract the smaller number to the bigger number regardless of the sign. 15 is higher and 5 is smaller. Just don't write the sign yet. If you notice, even if the operation is addition, we will still use subtraction because they have different sign. So 15 is higher minus 5, the answer is 10. Then copy the sign of the bigger number. The sign of 15 is negative, so we write negative. Example number 2. Positive 5 plus negative 12. They have different sign. 1 is positive and 1 is negative. Subtract 12 and 5. The answer is 7. Then copy the sign of the bigger number. 12 is negative, so write here negative. Another example, 14 plus negative 3. What is the sign of number 14? There is no sign, but it automatically, if you don't see any sign beside the number, it means positive. So 14 minus 3 is 11. Then copy the sign of the bigger number. 
14 is positive, so it's positive 11. But we don't have to write positive here because automatically it is read as positive. So that would be all on how to add integers. I hope you learned and enjoy just as I do. Thank you for watching. Bye!